Hi there, this is Karen from Soul Shimmer Designs and my tutorial today is a bit of a beginner's guide to using the HTV from TechWrap and I made a canvas bag and also added some flowers to this bucket hat. So the canvas bag I had was like a tote bag and the colours I used are from the HTV starters pack and this is just a selection of the colors that I've got or that I'm going to use but the colors that you get in the whole pack are just gorgeous so you could use any of them so here is my first design so I'm doing on one side of the bag oops did I buy wine instead of milk again and then on the other side bag filled with awesome crap so when you're using the HTV, you need to make sure that it's the colour side down when you put it onto your mat. And I'm just showing you here how I'm cutting the flowers designs that I'm adding to the bag. Make sure it's on the HTV setting and when you go to press send, make sure you send it as mirrored. This is on the Silhouette Cameo or through Silhouette Studio and I'm assuming it's the same way in Cricut as well. So here I'm just cutting out my design just to show you how easy it is to cut. It's like normal vinyl, super easy to get the design cut in the shape that you need. And, and then I'm just weeding my flowers here and the HTV is kind of a rubbery um, consistency. So it does pull away quite nicely and you can see I've got quite small details in these flowers and it's no problem using my tweezers to get all of these um, the excess vinyl out there so you can see these flowers are a gorgeous like neon green color then I'm just showing you how I'm weeding or how easy it is to weed through on the decals that I have for the for one side of the bag and it's using my tweezers I found them much easier to use then the weeding pen and they were great just to remove everything that I needed to get removed and I also keep a copy of what I need printed out underneath and apologies it's probably not as clear as it should be when I'm weeding this bit but you can see how easy it is to get everything out that you need so next thing is the flowers and I'm just showing you here again how easy it is to weed and these yellow flowers had quite intricate details so it was easy enough to use my tweezers to get those out and the orange flowers also had some circles to come out the blue flowers were similar to the green ones and then the pink flowers here also had quite a bit of detail to get out to remove some pieces of excess vinyl there. But again, super easy to do with your tweezers. So I have a mini press and a mat as well. And the HTV sheets come with a guide and you can use those. I set my mini press on medium and put the mat inside the bag set up my first side of the bag so the first decal that's going on there made sure that was nice and centered and then once that is all heated up i just lightly press down you don't want to press down too much on these mats but lightly press down for a, 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 was about six six to eight seconds and if you find that's not enough you can always do a test as you'll see um, I keep pulling up here once I've pressed that down so yeah okay, just doing a test there it's not quite ready the guides from tech wrap say to wait and peel when it's cool and you really do need to wait <laughs> I found it quite hard not to sometimes I just wanted to you just want to see how it turns out so after a time that was ready and I just needed to fix up a little bit on the, the side bits there and meanwhile I've done some flowers added on some flowers there with the HTV colors and you can see how bright and gorgeous these colors are um, I'm really 
loving the and this was just the starters pack too so you get a really good selection of colors and these were just I think I used about eight eight colors here and there are 10 to 12 sheets in the actual starters pack for HTV so I'm just using my mini press and moving the heat pad around so that I can put on the flowers sort of in the design that I want and I'm almost finished on that one side just got that last blue flower to do again peeling off when it's cool with this HTV vinyl but check the guides and it tells you if you can peel it off when it's cool or it's better to do it when it's warm so now I'm on the other side and I'm using my mat again and this time I found that because they're two separate colors I've used two separate sheets obviously so I'm just cutting that to fit I don't want any overhang from the the plastic covering from the first decal just want to make sure it fits in there nicely so you can adjust that as you need to and again using my mini heat press for it was about eight seconds for this one I found found it needed a little bit longer and I didn't need to press so hard and while that's cooling down I'm just going to as I did previously add on the flowers for this section as well and you can see there I didn't wait very long I had to try and test that to see but you really do need to wait until the it, it has cooled down so that's the first bag section done and then I've realized that the the second section needs a little bit longer than the first and that's okay it may have to do with the different colors or it's not a different texture as such or a thickness but it may have been the pressure that I used or didn't use so now that should be almost done I'm just adding on all my the flowers just to kind of match I just thought it would be good to have a, a double-sided bag and as a beginner with HTV I thought this was also for me a good project to start with and I think it's a good project for anybody to start with as well so we've got the last piece of that come off now and then we're up to the bucket hat and I had some extra flowers I had left over so I just decided to add those I did try and iron the hat down as well as I could and it does help with the mini press it's obviously also a mini iron so it works really really well and really fast the only thing I wouldn't do is what I've done here is put it on the seam that probably didn't work out so well but it should hopefully hold as well as the other ones so I'm just placing my flowers around the bucket hat and waiting until they actually they actually don't take so long to cool down so there's the bucket hat done so this is the end result and thank you so much for watching this tutorial I hope it's a good beginners tutorial for you and I'm looking forward to wearing this hat and using my bag over the summer thanks so much bye